this gives you a high definition like this foundation would be ideal like say if you were going for you guys can probably hear me scratch my back Hey lovers, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a minute since I've seen you guys. It's been a while since I sat in front of the camera. Anyways, my name is Celiette for those of you who are new to my channel. If you're looking for makeup tutorials, makeup tips, everything beauty, this is the channel to come to. Um, don't forget to like hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Like guys, subscribe to my channel, you know? join the family literally we're very loving here so join the family but um before i get into today's video which is about my top like my favorite like when i say my favorite i literally mean my favorite foundations for women of color like on myself on my clients like tried and trusted if you're someone struggling to find the perfect foundation for yourself maybe the right shade or you don't know what consistency to go for or you're just unsure what you know what foundation you could try out definitely watch this video because you could take a thing or two away from it to start off i'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite like literally when i say my favorite like when clients ask me i'm literally like lancome <laughs> before they even like before they even like finish talking i'm like i'm contented up like i absolutely love this foundation like and the shade range is broad af okay it is so broad from the lightest to the darkest skin like literally you will find something for you that's how amazing this shade the shade range of this foundation is lancome tint idol ultra 24 hour wear and comfort retouch free divine perfection foundation i actually had to like read the full name so what do i love about this foundation first of all it is full coverage okay and they do have the lightweight one of it as well i think it's the ultra i actually have it in my kit somewhere um so this is um the lancome tent ultra miracle foundation it's called the bare skin foundation so it's you, you can see the cover is like clear and uh, you know the normal full coverage normal one is dark cover so what do i love about this foundation so like i said the coverage is amazing the shade range is off the chain like literally when i say dark skin they cater for dark skin and when i say light skin they cater for light skin so when i'm going out all day and i want something when i know i'm going to be wearing my foundation for a long period of time this is what i go for this thing lasts till like kingdom come like it will stay on your skin and you know sometimes when you tear up and you cry or you sweat and like your foundation moves it's not going anywhere <laughs> this baby is not going anywhere and i think this foundation i've actually gotten like a few clients to buy and like definitely some of my friends own this foundation no one i have recommended this foundation to has regretted it like nobody everyone always says how much they love it how much you know it just matches their skin so well so estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup you guys <laughs> and i use the shade 5n2 which is amber honey if you want a full coverage foundation if you're someone that has problematic skin or you have acne or you have scarring this is what to go for because when it says double wear it is double wear it will cover every single thing like literally like i think i use like two or three pumps and i'm done now guys to the best of my knowledge they do have a lightweight one of this as well that's not double wear but you know the same shades and everything same way as the lancome one but i don't have that one because i just love my baby i just love my double wear one like so this one and the lancome one that i talked about previously when i want my makeup to last all day like when i want my makeup to stay in place when i know that i'm going to sweat i'm going to be running up and down and i don't want to be looking patchy i don't want to be looking sweaty i don't want to be looking oily af i go for this or the lancome one so the only thing that i would say that offs me you know triggers me about this foundation sometimes is that it oxidizes so it will look and for me it just looks a bit red like i just look a tad bit orange that's the only thing like literally the only comma that this foundation has but aside that it's full coverage long wearing perfect stays in place masks every single imperfection you could possibly have and it gets the job done this thing stayed on my face for 20 hours up next is my huda beauty foundation <laughs> guys and I use the shade 500G Mocha. Now, guys, this is very similar to the Estee Lauder Stay In Place. Reason being, this thing is amazing 
for full coverage okay now it feels like i'm actually only talking about full coverage guys uh, foundation guys but don't worry i do have two you know lightweight ones that i'm going to talk about next that are amazing so again if you have problematic skin or if you have acne skin or, or scarred skin or blemishes or dark spots or just you know an even skin tone and you want your face to look like one palette like just one tone bam like i literally use two pumps i don't think i've ever used more than two pumps because you will actually end up wasting the foundation because i don't know what they put in this foundation but the consistency it just covers like it covers everything and also one thing i love about it and the Estee Lauder one, um, Estee Lauder Double Wear is that, you know, for like some full coverage foundations, when you wear them, you can almost look like you have a mask on your face. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, they're so heavy that it just looks like they're, you know, they're just sitting on your skin. They're not sinking in. Like, they're just there like a little mask. These two foundations are nothing like that. This bad boy here is nothing like that. Neither is this. So, when you wear this foundation, it will mattify obviously because it's made for i feel like it's made for you know problematic skin or okay maybe not problematic skin it's made to give you a very full coverage the world is kind of going towards that glowy dewy kind of skin look you know skin like foundation look and i feel like with this foundation if you don't mix it with a good like if you don't have a good skin prep like a good illuminator on your skin or a good moisturizing like a strobe like a strobe cream you know something dewy on your skin prior to using it you will look dry of course for days where i want to look matte you know where i don't want any like oil seeping through where i know i'm gonna have my foundation on for a very long period of time this is what i would go for because i know i will look matte and i will stay matte so guys for those of you that have been watching this video and you're like it's all she's gonna talk about full coverage full coverage stay in place full coverage long wearing foundation no because i have my nars natural radiant long wear foundation this is the most long wearing dewy skin like foundation i have ever tried in my life ever like i've tried foundations that are like you know water based or you know meant to give you like a skin like look but what i find with them is that while they do that they don't last for long or they don't stay in place for long because of the consistency because it's meant to look like skin right guys this thing looks like skin but it lasts till thy kingdom come if you want to look like if you want to look dewy glowy if you want to look radiant like that fresh that's the word fresh faced if you want your face to look like you know when you wear makeup and you look just fresh like today's bread this is the foundation and i didn't mention my shade guys i was like ranting on about it i use marquise there's a picture i put up on my instagram um i think sometime in august i think at the start of august to the end of july and literally one of my friends commented saying looking fresh and another person said you look like today's bread or something like that this was the foundation i was wearing and i was like mm. i mean it's the foundation but it's me too i'm going to talk about these two foundations as if they were one because i use them as if they were one but they're actually two different brands okay <laughs> is my mac studio fix fluid foundation in the shade nw44 and my revlon color stay foundation in the shade caramel and i found that even though it's like the closest to my skin sometimes it looks a tad bit red so guys at that point in time i had the revlon color stay i think i had caramel and cappuccino in my kit but i wasn't using cappuccino as much it was a bit too dark and caramel was too light and this is very like yellow like i don't know if you guys can see if you guys can see it here it's very yellow and this is very red so i'm like in between yellow and red when you mix a yellow toned person like an olive skin tone and a red skin tone i'm that person in the middle that can't decide what side to go to so i started mixing like two pump of this and like well there's no pump in this you have to kind of like you have to kind of like hit it at the back of your hand and a bit of this and i would mix it together and just kind of get the perfect bang on shade and guys that was how i discovered that that was how i became like a genius that was how i discovered that these two together work like magic now i know a lot of people have like a love hate relationship with mac i, I have it as well but one thing i love about the studio fix fluid is my favorite one of, of all their range is that it's long wearing the coverage is amazing it's not too full coverage not too lightweight the only thing that people might struggle with with the darker shades is that mac foundations as we know the the, the more the numbers go up the redder it gets so the darker you are the more red they think your skin is which is not always the case the consistency of this foundation is like 
it's medium coverage so it's not too heavy just like the mac not too heavy not too light kind of right bang on in the middle so if you're looking for a foundation that's not heavy coverage and not light coverage just right in the middle mac revlon so last but not least and guys i nearly did not put this foundation in this video but i was like it's not fair you'll be lying to these people if you don't put it in the video makeup forever hd high definition foundation and it says here invisible cover foundation the weird thing about this foundation guys is first of all i actually don't know when i bought it and i used the shade before i go on and rant and rant i use the shade n175 this foundation i would say would be ideal say you're going for like a photo shoot or if you're going to be under a lot of um, artificial lighting like if you're gonna have a ring light facing you like I do now or you're going to be on stage or you're just going like at night you know when there's no natural lighting now I'd say it looks amazing during the day as well the reason why I said this is because the first time I wore this foundation I was actually sorry guys I was actually going out you know in the evening and I happened to be in a place where there was no natural lighting you know it's just artificial light you know it was evening time and guys my face was just glistening glistening like my face was just glowing like people were saying to me like your foundation what foundation do you have on and i was like and like at that point in time i was like oh my god is this foundation i've had for ages is this it makeup forever I, I couldn't even remember people were like what shit i couldn't even remember because i literally just saw it and i was like wait i've never used you let me try you so guys i would say of all the foundations that i've mentioned today lancome tent estee lauder mac huda beauty this one here is the one that every time I wear it, I look like I've worn some expensive ass foundation. That is me done with ranting for today. Those are my babies. Those are foundations that I can vouch for. Like if you are unsure about shades, if you want to message me privately and say, you know, tell me which one you, you're thinking of getting, let me know. Leave your comments down below if you've tried any of these foundations and let me know your thoughts on them. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys already know the drill. I say this at the start and the end of every video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys.